Hello, everybody, and I would like to cordially invite one and one all to today's super special, extra awesome Press YZ uh, live reacts uh, to the Xbox and Bethesda or Xbox plus Bethesda game showcase. It's a little confusing because some websites have it as Xbox and Bethesda with the ampersand symbol and others have it as Xbox plus Bethesda with the uh, plus symbol. Uh, and also, of course, in addition to that, uh, the Square Enix presents uh, a little bit later today. Uh, I am joined today by the illustrious Nathan McInerney. Yo, what's going on? I'm excited. This is my first Xbox conference where I've owned an Xbox. M me too. And of course, uh, the all digital, all natural, all real Alexander. Uh, uh, what is my last name, Cozy? Go for it. Fuck. I, I, I don't know why I even decided uh, yeah, to Alexander go with your full That's name. <laughs> I don't even know why I decided to go with your full name. That was a mistake on my part. Alexander and Fraser, AJ Fraser. <laughs> There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, bring back the blades, please. We need them. I mean, I, I hope that for your sake they come back. I, I'm kind of indifferent towards that. Uh, without further ado, let's switch over to watching our countdown timer. Actually, before I switch over to watching our countdown timer, let me just reload our Xbox uh, Twitch stream that we currently have in front of us just so that I can slightly get uh, the countdown timer a little bit ahead, so it's a little bit more in sync. Whew, that's real good graphic design on that uh, thingamabob in front of us, by the way. I, I appreciate how the, the logo. little planet... Yeah, not, not just the logo, I mean like the whole graphic The itself. planet and yeah. all the, the animations on it, the reflections, uh, yeah. The mist. I like the Starfield <laughs> teaser in the corner, because you know you're going to get that. Hell yeah. So, what are we expecting today from this madness? Well, we're there's going to be a shooter. A shooter? What type of shooter? A, uh, a space shooter. Somebody in, somebody's going to shoot things in space. That's my okay. bet. I actually, I mean, literally every single character on uh, this graphic is holding a gun of some sort. Actually, I don't... Th this guy over here... Uh, the guy with the skull thing on him. I don't know if he's holding a gun or not, but he looks like he could. Oh, he is. A gun. Oh, he is. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got like grenades on his chest and everything. Is right. that a Halo character? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Okay, I thought he could um, be a Destiny character, but I, I these, guess these are all these are all Halo characters. But I believe these are like the multiplayer costumes for these characters. Uh, so okay, okay. Hmm. All right. Whew. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say this much. I I think we're going to get some neat-ass surprises. I think that we are going to get some cool-ass thingies that we didn't expect. Maybe some teases of a certain Elder Scrolls Six so that I can get some more points for my predictions. Uh, but obviously it remains to be seen. Yeah, 100%. Um, the, the big rumor has been that we will see Forza Horizon 5, which I'm super excited about apparently mexico but i'm more interested in what we don't know sounds like some stuff's already leaked from microsoft this morning you can't seem to quite get these without things leaking so hmm. hopefully we can uh like we can figure this format out at some point without leaks i'm very uh fortunate in that i didn't see any uh wind of these leaks at all so i'm going into this uh direct i was about to say well i said direct uh, I meant not to say the direct, but I couldn't uh, prevent my tongue from letting it escape my mouth. Uh, I'm going direct into this showcase largely uh, untarnished, so it's going to be exciting. So, AJ, I I'm curious, did you I accidentally spoil yourself to some of the leaks and rumors? I did not. I, oh. um, I, I was uh, at my girlfriend's this weekend, and um, I just got I just got home like. 20 minutes ago and i haven't been on the internet or anything like that for the most part just trying to get people time in now that it's a little more possible over here mm. so mm -hmm. i didn't yeah. even watch any i haven't watched any of the conferences the only thing i saw the ubisoft thing i saw was the rabbits thing so <laughs> oh really I yeah have a lot to catch up on well, just you're in luck. We have uh, reactions for the Ubisoft uh, from when, when was the Ubisoft thing? Friday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Wait, what was yesterday? Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Today oh, is wow. Sunday. 
my days are uh, disappearing in my head. Okay. Yeah, E3's been going on for a little while now, so things are getting a little bit hectic in the time-space continuum. Um, the, the funny thing, you know, is that uh, at this year's E3, there have been like more press conferences of note than ever before. And what's, what that has meant is that there has been like such a larger uh, degradation of quality of press conferences. I remember yeah. a yeah. couple of years ago, everybody really made fun of that one Square Enix conference for not really showing off anything new. And it's like nowadays, like if Square Enix debuted that same press conference, everyone would be like, oh man, not bad at all. B plus compared to the quality of some of the things that we've gotten over the past few days. It's been all over the place. Some really good, some real bad. Uh, and I would say you, you should, like, don't don't watch something like, say, the Coke Media or the, um, the Gearbox press conferences, but maybe watch, like, a highlight reel or, like, someone else's reaction to them because they're... Uh yeah. yeah, I watched Kinda Funny react to the Coke Media one. We got 10 seconds here. Oh, shit. Here we go. Halo, right. Halo, Halo. Awfully presumptuous of you to think that Halo's going to be at this. What tipped you off? Uh, Spartans. It's a lot of uh, different language 18 plus signs. Yeah, that's... That's new. Here we go. The nice thing about everything being pre-recorded is that it's all going to start on time. When there's live shows, sometimes they'll be just delayed and you continue waiting. Yeah. Okay, I'm hyping up here. Uh, I'm just going to turn up the volume a little bit for the Twitch live stream. Sure. I'm not going to go into full blast. The, the audio mixing on our reacts to the Summer Games Fest kickoff live was good. But I do think that we could have lowered the volume just a little bit there, so I won't go full blast here. Do we start with Bethesda? I feel like they're gonna kind of twenty years like inter. Well, there's That's a talk how long so. Xbox has been well, with us. I mean, yeah, and there's like your answer. You, this is a moment I but always I think they're gonna to. interweave. Like I, I think it will be new games, some Bethesda, some Xbox. From my favorites back and to forth. return, hoping mm -hmm. for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate we see death loop what games or Ghostwire to Tokyo. And I think, you know, this past year... I need year, to leave the call for a quick sec because something's glitching Thank with you the audio here for today. me. No, Thank no you for the support right You're hearing Cozy's audio. I know, and Xbox it won't let me mute. 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing there better we go. than is, anything else. Is it improved? Else. They transport us. Through art and no, technology, I am hearing, but I'm still hearing magic both. When you step I just muted the Twitch stream. And can make it your yeah, own. can you mute the Twitch stream? We've okay. traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, yeah, of Fallout. It's like a second and behind, now, but like, yeah. it'll be fine. For the first time in yeah. over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Yeah, here's Starfield. Let's start off. Set there hundreds of years in our future. It's an epic. Oh, they're really getting right into it. Our shared humanity and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home I like that logo. to make that dream a reality. It's a good logo. We're excited to finally one. share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. Okay, teaser. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's in-game though. Yeah. Alpha in-game footage. What if the game just looks like that crappy black and white camera that we saw a second ago? That'd be very on par for Bethesda Game Studios. They like that old filter stuff for like Fallout and such. Oh, guess not. They say. The wonder is, not that the field that of stars That sandwich looks fucking so gorgeous. Vast, I was just saying that sandwich looks that great. Measured it. First You're thing I saw. You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. It'll, uh, we'll probably need to do a side-by-side -side food comparison 
with Everything. this game's food and Final Fantasy VII Remake Part II's food, because I feel like that's going to be a good contender when this it eventually all comes out. Working towards. Yeah. We've come to the beginning of humanity's right. final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. It looks cool. Imagine Starfield is connected to the same world as Fallout, but these are the people who got off the planet. Mm. Before the nukes hit. And this is farther, much farther in the future. Oh, I like that idea. 11 11 22. November 2022? Okay. That's that's my yeah. That's my that, bad. Yeah, I, that would make sense. That's it. Looks exactly I, like what that. Yeah. There, there's no other reason why they would highlight that particular set of numbers. But also, eleven eleven is the same. Eleven 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 is the anniversary of Skyrim. Skyrim so eleven right, years yeah. after Skyrim. Right. Yep. There it is. There. Well, all yeah. right. Wow. Huh. I would... The problem with that teaser is it didn't show me much. Like there, like it was like some in-engine cutscenes. That's for next year. Yeah. It well, they got awesome a while. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda. And it Games does say Studios. Xbox exclusive there too. A groundbreaking. Not that game. we're not surprised. Yes, this is why I own yeah. Xbox Sam. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I am so excited and proud to be here today. The, the premise, Nathan, that you're describing games. about how because this is the people in the Fallout universe that got off Earth I before the nuclear apocalypse, been such an it reminds me of, um, joy you remember the connection. short story, I Have No Mouth But I Must Scream? We are committed yes. to forging the next there was, um, era of gaming. There was like an adventure game style video game based possible. off of it that Unlocking like sort of added to the lore devices, of the original short story. And in the lore that they added, like there's like a group of people that are on the moon that were sent to the moon stuff. before like the Not AI went partners, rampant one and one of the like the endings that you can arrive at for the game one of the good endings is that you everywhere. save the people on so the moon today, and bring them back to Earth. We get to reveal more mm. of what's to come. We have an amazing show. 30 titles, 27 in Xbox Game Pass and of course every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series X and S offering next-gen performance, speed and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next is something truly riveting. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker 2. Ooh. Coming first okay. to Xbox TJ Series was big on this last time. and PC. This will be a true next-gen experience. When I uh, used to write for gamers and ray with a V, mm -hmm. Let's take a um, look one of the first what scripts that I worked on was brushing year. up a script on uh, the Stalker franchise. Hmm. So it didn't say Game Pass, it said Launch Exclusive for Xbox. Which would make sense. Yeah, they've been working on this game for a long time, I don't think they want to keep it exclusive. <sighs> Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом. Does this game? Is, is there anything in this game that is of interest to either of you? Not really. First-person shooters have to be really special for me to be into them. Mm. Um. I don't play a lot of them typically. So, uh, the thing is, is that um, the Metro series was basically started by a group of developers that splintered off from the development team that made the original Stalker game. And I, I, I quite enjoyed Metro 1 and 2. I've not played uh, the third one, but I suspect I would like it as well, considering how well reviewed it was. Mm -hmm. uh, on that basis alone, I probably would want to try out this game. I don't know if I'll ever go back and play the older Stalkers, because they seem, you know, kind of old-fashioned. But if this, like, is evocative of the Metro games at all, I think I would enjoy it. What's he throwing out? Screws? Uh, I think he's no. testing for some sort of weird, like, 
Anomaly field? Anomaly field of some sort? Mm. I just saw this. Not the first year in the zone, it seemed to So, the stalker games are based in part off of the novel Roadside where it, the whole premise with the novel is that basically a bunch of aliens visit Earth for a very brief period of time and kind of deposit a bunch of odd anomaly objects on it. And it's called the Roadside Picnic because the, the comparisons are like, it's not like the aliens came here with any kind of great purpose. They came here like a family having a roadside picnic, and then when they're leaving uh, to get back in their car and go home, they accidentally leave like a napkin behind, or like some breadcrumbs behind, or like, you know, any matter of things you might leave behind after having a roadside picnic. And in that same fashion, like the aliens basically visit Earth, you know, presumably maybe just, uh, you know, like, just do like a random inspection or whatever, and then they randomly leave these anomalic objects behind, like totally inadvertently, and that creates all the weird stuff that you kind of see here. Ah, uh, interesting. It was a little, I was a little rambly there, but I hope that made sense. No, no, 100%. That was a good explanation. <laughs> Somebody gonna attack them at the campfire? I don't know. So, he says there's no friendship in the zone. The zone is like the uh, anomalous area that m a lot of the game takes place in. Like, it, like a Chernobyl-like area. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's literally, as you can see, like a former power plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Xbox said this is on their presentation last year, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Where I think it was... It wasn't announced there first, because Stalker, like, has been announced... Stalker 2 has been announced for quite some time, since, like, 2018 or something. Uh, yeah. That's where it was first shown off. I, I, I'm enjoying this trailer fine. I do think it's going on a little bit long. I agree with that. That seems to be the problem with...
do crabs make noises like that? I think so. I don't know if I've ever seen like a crab up close on a beach. This is the most interesting to see if these has looked. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. It's it, like proper good story-based content because there really wasn't any of that I in it previously. By chance, mm -hmm. there's a second one of those. And there's like no better fitting property out there for it. Yeah, oh, 100%. The you know what would be interesting for them to bring in? If they've got Disney on board, Peter right. Pan. Yeah, that would work too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, I, I was thinking to myself, like, when's the last time we've seen Peter Pan in, like, any kind of media, like, video games? June 22nd. Or, 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 like, movies or otherwise. And, like, putting aside uh, Kingdom Hearts, like, I feel like we've not seen it in a while. And I think it would be a, it would make for an interesting reveal. To say oh, least. this is where they're adding uh, the new, uh, the new Yakuza. Hey, how's it going? Didn't this switch? Didn't this one like a dragon launch Let's on the Series this. X? It did, but it was on Game Pass. This is the Game Pass announcement for it. Got it. And I've been waiting to try this, so uh, this is perfect. To call a friend. Get a lobster. Oof. We had a big discussion about cooking <laughs> accident earlier. Fucking Japan, man. Yeah. <laughs> Japan. This looks so much zanier than Judgment, which I really love. Yeah. And I can't wait to try this. I have to admit, when I was in Japan, I was too scared to go to any of those really out there bars or cafes. I'm, uh, I, went to, I went to a maid cafe. Yeah. Going to my Game Pass app and downloading that now. See, I didn't really have like I didn't really have a good crew of people to roll with to go to one of those maid cafes, and so yeah. I never took the plunge. Okay, so is this perfect dark? No, this. I think they said we weren't getting perfect dark. Yeah, this is Battlefield. I guess. Oh yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I do think you're. It right. looks very. It's got very battlefield like crosshair and shit. Well, okay, so it's not up yet on Game Pass. Probably they want to make After sure that the conference. It's... Yeah. But I want to get it downloading now. If it's going to come to Game Pass, this is the time it's going to. They need to tell us it's coming to Game Pass, but I'd be surprised because they had those pre order signs up a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, still, it's EA. Yeah, I guess you can pre order it if you don't like. You can pre order, and if it goes, comes to Game Pass and you don't want to own it anymore, then you can cancel your pre order. Yeah, it's true. Because, like, there could be people who don't have Game Pass either who just want to buy this yeah. game and that's it. That's completely possible. I think it would be a good move with it being a, just a multiplayer game to have it on Game Pass because I do think they have a hard time justifying a $70 price tag for it. Yeah. With all the free multiplayer shooters that are out there now. The weather storms look super cool. I, I love. It's, go ahead. No, the Battlefield. There's there's a theme right there. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company um, Two had the best destructible environments uh, per map in anything, and Battlefield Battlefield Three tried to compete, but it wasn't quite the same. And Battlefield Four, they tried their Levolution shit, and it. It was more of a set piece, a boring ass set piece, than it was proper dynamic, destructible environment. So if they can bring back, like if they can mix that up with, like set pieces like that rocket ship, and and add in something like a uh, like proper destructible environments, then it, it's that it's perfect then at that point. 
You know what I really enjoyed, even though it was a terrible game, but I still platinumed it? The Rory McIlroy uh, PGA Tour game so they did. How was your day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they had the battlefield the golf birthday? course where the ship <laughs> crashes into the uh, the love evolution for the golf course. What's going on? Shut Ooh, up. I, don't want to, I want this. You've been me all this time? I should never have told you. I'm out of patience. <laughs> what? I know I see this a so lot. So it's Ray Skywalker and young Professor X. This a lot too, yeah. but... Mm, and the Green Goblin. Yep. Game pass, good. I hope that young Professor X doesn't turn out to be secretly evil. <laughs> as he always turns out to be in the X-Men movies. Approaching the mother <laughs> I can't believe I'm really here! Psycho earlier, Cozy. Look at all these gadgets. The well, it, is the it, it's not showing up correctly yeah. on the There we go. Okay. And then there's a picture of me uh, in one as in on uh, little Fuji film one. Oh. Super this fun. Is super cute. I never played the original Psycho Knots. I feel like I'd like it a lot though. Original Psycho Knots one of those games that I, like, have downloaded on my PlayStation 3 or 4, because it was made available on, like, PS Plus or super cheap in a sale. Never touched it. It's on Game Pass, uh, but it's the Xbox version. And I'm like, I think there is a remaster of it. Uh... I don't think so. Oh. Maybe... I know there is a PSVR exclusive for one. There was something like that, yeah. The Rhombus of Ruin. This mm. is a mission about the fate of the world. Can you do I that? love Double Fine, though, yes. so... If oh, I yeah. can find some bacon. I kind of wish they'd make me another point-and-click adventure, or I see, now that they're owned by them, give me some more remastered point-and-click adventures mm. from LucasArts. What's August twenty like, fifth. What's like the big point and click uh, adventure that they haven't remastered yet that you want oh, to see? Oh god, because like I don't we know. have I'd gotten have like you know we've gotten like Full Throttle and Day of the Tentacle, a lot of the classics that you often hear people this talk about. This is usually about. the moment when I say hello Grim and welcome to the Bethesda E3 show. Didn't we get a remaster um, of that too? That we can share the stage. Yeah, with I know that's what I'm saying. Grim Fandango has also been done. you've known Bethesda for I've right. all three years of those. or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started Did he tap his leg for Greg? Todd Howard, who gave you a first look mm, we'll, we'll have to watch a kind of funny Bethesda reaction Game stream Studios, all afterwards of our to find out, I guess. to work on the projects mm -hmm. that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 hey. Bethesda games. That is several okay, in software games. Go back to the, like the previous screen. I didn't see it. Uh, if you're looking for another might be a little bit to play it, tough for Eternal, me or Todd for Howard to do. Series X and S no, well, on June 29th. he should be doing that. It shouldn't have gone so quick. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with you. For everyone who owns it, it, Doom there's Eternal. immediately and going to be a picture X, of that on visuals at 60 FPS like with ray tracing, Twitter, a 4K yeah, mode, on the Twitter. and an optional performance mode. Is this, um, I know that two of the games showcased briefly a second ago were the original Fallout, Fallout 1 and 2. Is that like the first time they've been made of Available can't celebrate on it without the Xbox so ecosystem. Share your favorite Skyrim this memories, like, it'd be the first time they'd be on console. And more on Skyrim10.com. If that's true, or explore an ever changing. Like, if we're not missing something, that's kind of a big deal. In Fallout 76. I'd be about Fallout interested in checking those out. Building, although I will admit there is part of me that wishes factions, that they were on PlayStation. Characters, places to discover, you'll find it all here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass. Thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative. I don't believe community. that. Here's a look at what's coming next. Uh, it had 76. kind of a resurgence after the fact, just quietly, especially after it came to to Game Pass. Really? Okay. Yeah. Brotherhood of Steel are the guardians of human By no means did it go mainstream, but Fort Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. Does that speak negatively against United. Game Pass if this is one of the most popular the games? Takes priority. This proves more than anything. Mm. No, because nobody, justice. if nobody bought it before, oh, nobody yeah. had to pay any extra money. You're so then they may have gotten into shape. it. 
and felt better about their time with it because they didn't have to have that, you know, $80 Canadian investment, right? Yeah, true. So All the this. expansions are coming free to Game Pass for this as well, right? Think so? I thought you understood what that insignia meant. I really hope, like, for you future things like expansions, that they come to right to Game Pass. I'm still kind of annoyed. I can't play the Lego uh, expansion for Forza Horizon 4. Oh, yeah. On Game Pass. Because, it, like, it's a game I don't own, so I don't necessarily want to shell out $25 for an expansion. the world. Your righteous crusade has gone I mean, you could go far. to a store and get the well, disc copy and factor. I believe that then you have the disc and then buy it that way. Like, the, the yeah. disc would probably be a lot cheaper at this point. This is but it wouldn't come with the... Oh, maybe it wouldn't come with it, but then... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it is. I'd like to see like Xbox... Yeah, I'd like to see Xbox focus on that, because Forza was a pre-Game Pass type thing. Yeah. Steel and Rain. Okay. What the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? Oh. Come on. This isn't funny. I know you can hear me. Or Paula? It must be like another expansion, right? Yeah. It's gotta be a Deathclaw eating that person. Radiation, it's gotta be follow. Welcome to the pit. Oh, there we go. I was literally about to say, this This kind of reminds me of when they announced, like, something like the pit, like an old school Xbox expansion that takes place in an entirely new area, and lo and behold. Well, the, the pit, isn't I think the only they did visit before. That's an amazing community. expansion from the three or four. The Online from Zinimax Online Studios has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. Right Ooh. now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. Is this a game either We've of you have played? We've got a lot more to played? come in ESO, including 76? the conclusion no. to this epic story. Uh, no, I just remember seeing oh, sorry, all the Elder Scrolls Online. And with the release oh, of ESO uh, console enhanced to get some gamer points last, or to get some reward points last week, yes. Native experience and then I deleted it. For the it. Series X and hmm. S. Um, so over to my right, uh, you can still see the box that my PlayStation 4 came in when I bought it in 2014. And the four games represented on the back of it are Destiny 1, uh, Infamous uh, Second Son, Watch Dogs 1, and uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Hmm. And it's like, I, I've, I've, I've like dipped a toe in all those games except the Elder Scrolls Online. And I always see it staring back at me every single day. But I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually take the plunge. Yeah, I definitely jumped into it just for a few minutes. It felt like Skyrim, mm. it's like an Elder Scrolls game. Um, is it just letting us know it's there? Yeah, probably. It's a new world with new rules. Now, oh, is this the party animals game? Off the table. Winning this battle will take a new breed. This is the one that her. Mitch was really hyping up, right? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like Fall Guys. Yeah. Game. Gang beasts. Game beasts. I think he tried a beta weekend for this, and he liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I'm digging this music choice with this. Mm-hmm. They've already announced this is coming to Game Pass, right? Maybe. Oh, 
next oh, year. Damn, that's too bad. That's just that's oh man. Oh, I thought that'd be closer. I want to play that now. Yeah. yeah. 80s. Hey. Uh -huh. uh, this is going to be going everywhere. So I'm not surprised to see it. I need to give it another try. It didn't grab me, but maybe because I bought it on PC. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here. Try and stop me. Oh man, when I eventually get around to playing this game, I know this is going to be a, a good time. Once I unlocked the shield, it felt much better. Hmm. I didn't like it too much, but the Captain America shield felt good. Game Pass, good. Hmm. Well, looks like in August you're going to get around to playing it. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder if the PlayStation release will be around the same time, or if we'll have to wait a Eventually. little longer. I doubt it'll be for on Game Pass though. Yeah, because it's <laughs> you can't get Game Pass on your PlayStation console. Nope. Yet. Not yet. You know what? If X saw producing hardware, I could see Sony letting that if they got a cut of the monthly subscription. Hmm, maybe. I bet. I bet they would call it PlayStation Play Pass. Maybe. Well, PlayStation is, All Access. No. This is an intriguing uh, world. Have we seen this before? No, I don't think so. Is this from the creators of like, Inside and Limbo? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks very much like it, doesn't it? I like the oh. dog. I hope the dog doesn't die. Play Dead? Is that the studio? I forgot what it said at the beginning. It's very evocative of Inside and Limbo. Mm hmm. Uh oh. That kid has become zombified. Or maybe it was just acting. Hey, I'm gonna give you a little bit of levity in the end of the world by acting like a zombie, but not actually being a zombie. I hope you'll appreciate me. Oh shit. Somerville. 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 So we're Somerville. Game Pass next year. We missed what studio it was. Too bad. I think I literally read it out loud, but I didn't retain it. Here it this holiday marks the 20th anniversary Here we go. Of I'm meeting you, Cozy. And the oh, 20th no. anniversary of here. Halo. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, Nathan, we're thrilled tell to AJ offer because he can't hear me anymore that I love him. To all players uh, across Xbox and AJ, PC with no barriers. Uh, Cozy says he loves you. Halo Infinite okay. multiplayer like to you that. will be free to okay. play. I love you too, Cozy. And invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. From helping craft the original Halo Man, Combat but, Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 OST. going around, along at a pretty good Joseph clip. Joseph is a Halo visionary. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody, for us, this guy's been around since you, like the Halo, Halo has one always days, been about correct? heroism and wonder about like fighting as in the first safe safe against impossible okay. odds. Because I'm pretty sure sorry, like, and he was there for Halo one world. and then like he left for a while and now he's been brought this back. This is to, just one part of the set of Halo you know, ring, correct. the largest, most wide yeah, open environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore Mm, that was a big yawn. I will say they've been hitting with very strong the games. The Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. Was, was the, the ring the covered by clouds or was it story, broken? You'll face his greatest challenge yet, but I don't know. I missed they're it. They're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. I feel like a lot of these games have been next year. 
is enough. So I see. Hmm, they ha you know, that's a good point. What, what, like, major game that has been announced as far as this year? Because now I think about it, you're really... Yeah, you're kind of truth to power on that. There's not much time. Some of the smaller indie stuffs for this year, like the 12 minutes of Back for Blood. Right. Uh, but they're not necessarily Microsoft Studios, but it's on Game Pass. Um, Battlefield is this year, but one, but once again, not another Microsoft Studio game. This should be this year, unless something's Where's gone Cortana? horribly wrong. <gasps> the rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> This is a very Good. Kingdom Hearts-like scenario Good. where there are just Something random clones of other characters we that need to find out why. have come into existence but and are going the berserk. Mission. The missions mm -hmm. change. They always do. Are you well, sure? I feel like the timelines is confusing. I need to get through these games. Does he take his helmet off ever? Of course. I you mean, can't he takes it off, of course, at the end of Halo 1. And on Xbox Series X, but you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 mm. frames per People second. Have, um, like, Finally, I'm very scenes, happy to announce that Halo like, Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign are you familiar with the YouTuber Boundary Break? Multiplayer season and Infinite story -driven are, campaign are you familiar with the YouTuber Boundary holiday. Break? A no. Uh, he's a YouTuber that, like, basically goes behind the scenes and shows you, like, things fight. that, like, video game cameras normally don't Together, show you. If you go, like, inside of the spaceship during that part in the original Halo where Chief takes off his helmet, all that he does is he just takes off a clone of his helmet and there's still a helmet mm. on top of his head. So, like, uh oh, I don't think that we have canonically ever seen what Master Chief looks like, even in, like, other media, like books, for example. Interesting. Okay, okay. If I recall correctly, like, in the books, he's described as looking just like an average, like, human male. Like, he's specifically supposed to look like nothing exceptional or particular, which I think is, okay, like, okay. An, an, an intentional decision because they're supposed to be kind of like, oh, this is an everyman. So Hello, players can feel, you know, comfortable with like the idea of stepping in their shoes, right? Yeah. It's, so it's not Ryan Reynolds or Chris Evans. Exactly. Yeah. So this looks to be the first season of the multiplayer for Halo Infinite. Claim the enemy flag. Return it to base. Ordnance drop inbound. Oh man, I, f I remember flying around in this thing in Halo 1. The flag is ours. I didn't really love it all that much, but I suspect they've probably improved things since then. I don't love driving that Warthog. I was doing that in Reach, and it still doesn't feel great. Can you design your Spartan? It would seem to be that you can. I don't think yeah. that. I don't think that the uh, samurai Spartan we're looking at right now is like a unique character. That'd be cool. Epic campaign. Whoa, we've had campaigns before, but this is the first time we've had an epic campaign. Oh, still no date. Well, they they said 2021. Yeah, but like that's been expected. At this point, I thought we'd have an exact date. Evil All right, AJ. Hi. What are your the thoughts? Figure wanders in the east. I love it. 
It's beautiful. And the Preacher, story beat the story be beats stopped with that new AI who is like Cortana but not Cortana. It made me very emotional. Um Diablo. What? Oh, this oh, is the, the remaster. Yeah. Too. yeah, the remaster probably coming to Xbox, I guess. I, I assume it, it's, it was going everywhere. Yeah. So, um, this is just an ad for it. I doubt this is Game Pass, but I guess we'll see. Cross progression. Oh, that's good. I never actually played Diablo 2. I did 1 and 3. So, this is uh, like a whole in my gaming line. I like the Druid. I always tend to go with like the warrior class. It's um, it's gonna be interesting because I probably might play this game as well. It's gonna be interesting to play this and Hades like side by side. Eight player co-op. Interesting. We can have a whole party. Although it looks like there's a lot going on on screen. Are you surprised that there was no exact date for Halo? Um. A little bit, but also they made that mistake last year. I know, but it feels like like they're still committing to 2021. But I worry with no date, and we're six months away. It it'll get there. So not Game Pass. Oh, Just coming. There we go. A, a game coming in 2021 with an actual date. <laughs> yeah. A lot of this has been 2022. We were talking about that during the while you were uh, audioed out. Yeah, while you were in your halos. While I was fully erect, you mean? Where did I yeah, sure. I, I didn't yeah. want to say it that way, but yeah. From all of us. <laughs> from what we do to him. Can you stop it? I the studio name almost sounds like the Astro Playground developer. Asobo versus Asobi. Well, th there's actually a reason for that. Uh, g give me just a quick second. So, uh, in Japanese, Nathan, Asobi mm -hmm. means play. Oh, okay, okay. And so, my assumption is that the team Asobo, like, they probably took Asobi and were like, let's stylize it slightly and add an O at the end instead of an I. Gotcha. Okay. Ah. Oh, playing tail. That's what that was. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my decision to buy an Xbox, believe it or not. You're welcome. That's interesting. So actually, I did a little bit of research. Asobo Studio is a French-based video game developer. Which, I mean, that doesn't mean that they that their name isn't a reference to Asobi, uh, the Japanese term for play, but... When I am dead and Yara is burning... What exactly? Is your I don't think we needed to see this again. Old hands. Yeah. A again, on the subject of fire? double dipping sure. games. I know just the song. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time we've seen Daniel such an un un upbeat Danny. music track for it, though. To take down Castillo, yeah, true. a guerrilla needs the right tool. They're overexposing the right us a little too much. Unless they want to say it's coming to Game talking? Pass. It's a stealth operation. I got Should you be covered. fucking rad. Uh, so, AJ, you didn't see the villains expansion or season pass part, did you? No. There's going to be an expansion for Far Cry 6 that lets you play the villains from uh, 3, 4, and 5. Just what oh, you that's need. cool. And like a story mode, like a story mode expansion for all of them. Yeah. You want to blow shit up? Juan Cortez at your service. I kind of wish they committed to just making the the main protagonist a female instead of letting you choose. Hmm. Canonically, she'll be female, but like they're giving people the option to be a male, and I'm like, they should have just kept it female. Mm, everyone in yeah, they either need to 
What? Well, I mean, there can be good story reasons, Wait whatever, but, you rooster? know. Oh, hey, holy shit. You need I... To the job done. What the hell? The fucking oh. murder, murder cock. We talked about murder cocks on this show, like, a Next couple weeks I ago. I want to play with oh, that I love that dog. Here. Like, this is more of Far Cry 6, which looks interesting. Far Cry's never been my favorite thing, Whoa. but, like... Huh. I like how you resolve it, Juan. Still coming out on my birthday. I'd like Ubisoft to gift me a code. So do I. For my birthday. We would petition them hard enough. Well, oh, this looks bright and colorful. We've seen Halo, we've seen Starfield. What do we end on? Oh, Slime Rancher. Oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> that, that I believe is on Game Pass, I think. The original. So this, is this ex oh, a new one then? Yeah, I think so. So what is Slime Rancher? It's, it's, you create these little farms full of these different slimes and you kind of breed them and the more you have a one, you can unlock certain areas, and you gotta avoid the bad ones from coming in and breaking in and killing all your good ones. Like a a, a little more active Viva Pinata. Oh, okay. It, whenever I think Rancher, I think of um, what Monster was it Rancher? called? Monster Rancher, where you could put your CDs in the PlayStation and it would like create uh, yeah. monsters. They need to bring that back. So long as we have. Physical media. Physical media on our... Like, pop out the disc and put in a different game and see what happens. Oh, yeah. I never got into that Welcome game, unfortunately. To and it's too bad, because I probably would have really loved trick. it. Let's go. I would love to see a version where they you, you can put your digital games in and see what happens. Okay, so hang on. This is happening at the Xbox conference. Are they bringing back Amped? Is this SSX trick? Or SSX from EA because they've got that EA connection too. That showing like developer logo stuff. Bone punch. I don't know. Yeah. Something five ten ten indie or something there on the back at bottom of some of those. I'm gonna pay a little more attention at them. Could be a brand of snowboard stuff. I'm just not in the community, yeah. so I don't know. If it was skate, I could potentially tell you. I like Andy the Andy. snow. Yeah, yeah, 540 Andy. The snow looks really good. And you can see the trails from the other boards, which is neat. And the powder spraying. Oh, well, we got. Shredders. Shredders. Shred. It's kind of a confusing title. Well, and there's a lot of that coming because Riders Republic looked like it was focusing on a lot of stuff this year, too. It's coming to Game Pass, so I'll try it. Okay. Whew. When does this run to? It's like an hour and a half? Typically. But they got Bethesda now, so like. And we have Square at we four. Have, we still haven't seen Phil Spencer yet. Duh. Well, and he's got to be the big what's like the final. One more thing. Mm -hmm. Halo Beta starts tomorrow. The yeah. uh, Square Enix presentation starts at 3.15. 3.15? Yeah. I, I was actually, I wanted to bring this up earlier, but um, when the presentation is over, if there's quite a bit of time before Square Enix, we don't need to stick around. We can switch over to a be right back scene and we can kind of do our whatever we want to do for the next half hour or so okay. what is this i don't know i don't know i love the music though atomic Heart. Oh, atomic her if they just have that one track playing over the entire game i'll play it
You see the He-Man trailer? No. Oh, you should watch that. It was so good. And it had a hero from the, the 80s song, uh, I Need a Hero, playing in it. It was awesome. Oh, that's a good choice. Okay, Phoenix City. Beach operational. Oh, look at this graphical style. Cool. PS1 evocative of... Yakuza's still not on Game Pass. Time to sue, I guess. Very pretty. It's 2D, but looks like a PS1 with ray tracing. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that look that Octopath Traveler has. Yeah. Like, but, but like mm, a side scrolling version of it. But it, but yeah, but like its own thing and not, not, not 16 bit, but like. Like it pops. Yeah. I, uh, I just looked it up. This uh, showcase is supposed to last 90 minutes. So we actually have quite a bit of content still ahead of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there's been a lot of good stuff. I really should have been writing down what we've seen. Because <laughs> I've not done any of that. It's okay. There, Portal there on be... in the chat wants to know um, what we think they're going to end with. I've been hemming back and forth about that. It's something we don't know. I don't know what it is, though. Yeah, like, we of... haven't seen Forza Horizon 5, and that could be the big thing, because that's yeah, going to come out this year. year. Or, yeah, Forza could be Millions one. Yeah. Kept busy. Uh, I don't think Fable's coming. Yeah, I mean, that's what I predicted <clears throat> ahead of today's E3, but realistically, yeah, probably not. Zip lining. So, Phantom like, Dust 2, finally. Things. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you finish on. Celebrate. Uh, that's what I would finish on, if you know what I mean. Like Elder Scrolls, potentially. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Port Milan said indie. I mean, I feel like that's a little bit... We're a little bit early for that, but he does have a good point, or she or they has a good point, that like there are a lot of... You know, projects that have been previously announced that they could theoretically pull out and surprise us with that we've just yeah. conveniently forgotten about. 100%. Like, um, in the, I thought it was still a little early to see it in the showcase, but, like, who knows? Um, but, like, if I had to guess some sort of Skyrim tease, which they probably shouldn't be doing because I feel like it's very far out. Um, or. But like Forza Horizon 5 seems like the safe bet to end it on potentially. Because it should be coming in September-ish. Mm. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements oh, finally. too. Nice. The Shroom and Doom update. <laughs> I really like a good shroom. Court Lalonde uh, points out in the chat, which, by the way, I'm bringing in via a small little update I made over the past few days, uh, that they have technically been working on indie for a couple of years, which is a fair point. Ultimately, oh my god, 15 players. The jury is out on whether we'll see it or not, but it'd be cool if we could. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I know that's the problem with Forza. If you don't love racing games, then it's not going to hit for it. So maybe it's not safe to end on it. But then if that's the case, we have a big surprise. Because I thought Starfield would be your ender or Halo. And they've kind of pushed those throughout it. On the subject of games uh, double dipping a lot, uh, Among Us, another game that has appeared at a lot of other press conferences. Yeah, I didn't surprise to see no like Halo figure considering Ratchet and Clank's coming to the PlayStation 5 version. Well, here we go. It's finally my anime, game. Anime, the video game. Saigon Keisling. Marissa. Um. Oh, what's her name? What's his name? Why aren't you showing me any of the Anime names? person. This isn't Tails. Ah. 
Oh, project strategy? No, wait, no. Leon for that. Or Lion. Oh, look, they did the little, like, Roadrunner spinny thing for their legs. So this looks like the Octopath engine. Yeah. Yeah. But it can't. Like, actually, that font is. That font is the Octopath font. That font is very j early JRPG as well. But this is not Octopath Traveler, right? No, I don't think so. Well, and they're doing Project Triangle Strategy next as like a strategy RPG. A Yuden Chronicle. Hundred Heroes. Hundred Heroes. It looks like they're definitely trying to evoke that. What? Oh, it's coming to are, Game Pass. Are these two different games? Okay. Looks like it. Okay. All right. I guess you're playing it. Some of those are like 2023, though. Wow. Right, we're at the two-hour mark. To and by the two-hour mark, I mean two-hour mark in our day, not in terms abilities. of the press conference length. We're actually at the one-hour mark, is what I should have said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was kind of confused about that. Thank you for clarifying. I was like, we've been doing this for two hours? It's been a good two hours, then. This, this looks, looks like something we should play together. This looks like whatever an exile would be working on the ancient. No, the ascent. The, yeah. The, Are some of these missing studios, or am I just they're putting it first and then they're not putting it in the title card? I think you're distracted. History is all around us. Man, do you guys remember the days when video game press conferences at E3 were like actual press conferences, and like they would show off a game and then spend 30 minutes talking I, about. I do have a nostalgia for that, especially something like the Nintendo stuff where they would um, bring Miyamoto out on stage and they would just talk. What would you build? It's like, is this Age of Empires? Maybe. How would you fight? Yeah, I don't know if we ever see these press conferences again in the same way. I don't, I, yeah, I don't think so. The problem with press conferences is that they're prone to issues and like you can have a nicely tight video that gets everything across. Yeah, this has to be Age of Empires. Yeah. I love the idea of those. It's just they're not good for the way I like to play, which is like turtle up until I'm like super strong and then just go all out. Mm -hmm. RTS is 10 tend to have to micromanage like multiple different like outposts and stuff and make sure that everything's working together and then well here we go PC. Hell yeah uh, 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 that's not a console game, game. Mm -hmm. i'm surprised they're not trying to do a console version of it We begin by hearing an old. Um, you know the anime game voice. we saw uh, a couple of trailers ago. Yeah, quiet. Yep. Yes. Peaceful city. So Jason Schreier Listen just tweeted. Sorry, I just blacked out for two minutes seeing a new Sui Coden game and now, everything but name. Something must so break it, it seems like those two games that we saw are like creature spiritual like successors. Yeah, spiritual yeah. successors yeah. to this weekend in name, which, yeah. name, which I, I, I I get it now. Yeah, I, I enjoyed, um, I had never finished Sweet King because it's a huge game, but I've enjoyed what I've played. These pointless slow motion shots. I have it on Vita. Make everything seem cool and should bolster pre-sale numbers. Oh, you know what's something we could see that I don't feel like any of us... This is a very meta trailer. Yeah, it's breaking the fourth wall quite a bit. We haven't really been commenting on it, but yeah, it is. Lens flares. No. We see our hero, but only their silhouette, because the developers <laughs> haven't finished the design. This is kind of funny, actually. I'm into it. I feel bad I talked over it earlier. Actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title. Ah. Uh, yeah, the other worlds. <laughs> God damn it. Um, what was I saying earlier? There's no date on this. I don't know if that needed to be there because I don't know when that's coming. Does anybody know where 
uh, Gears of War 6 is at. Because I was thinking no. that could be a game that they could tease at the end of this press conference that I feel like would be a good a good send off to everything that we've seen. But like, I don't I know if that like, game is like. That's something we ready. haven't thought of for a while. Yeah, I feel like they need more time. Didn't that Hivebusters expansion just come out this year? Yeah. Well, that it's it'd be a separate team, right? I guess potentially. Yeah. Is this flight simulator? Uh, yeah, I believe so. <sighs> Unless it's secretly just Africa, apparently. I hope. Uh, the console because i've been afraid to play this on pc but i hope the console version on the controller has like simplified controls to make I, it for that anybody i played fly it. what i did play was uh when it came out was with a controller um okay. and it was i was able to simplify it enough um and turn down the sensitivity enough that it was like playable uh like i was able to take off and land with a controller just fine so I uh, had my dad over the other day because he was helping us yeah. do some stuff in the house. And I decided to show him Forza because he's a big car guy, Horizon 4. Yeah. And I was showing him through the cars and he got stuck on a car on A and I can't remember the name of it, um, but it's one he used to own. And he started, oh, picked yeah. up the controller and started driving around. I've never, like, it's been years and years since I've seen him hold a controller. Wow. And play video games. I'm like, huh, maybe if like, it comes to like the stick i can get the stick like the xbox stick for him to put in his tv or something okay that, that would be a good option july 27th that's this year top gun well, top gun i love the cap post capturing slow version of top gun music playing <laughs> Oh wait, this is an expansion for Flight Simulator. Simulator. Yeah, this is a top fucking flight. rad. That's fucking rad. Like Sea of Thieves and Pirates of the Caribbean, this is obviously like the perfect uh, tie-in. Was mm -hmm. was the top, new Top Gun movie supposed to have released by this point in time? I think it's come out. Has it? Or I don't no, remember uh, it coming out. I don't know. In engine. This is Forza. Oh. Uh, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, the Mexican speed. guitar player. This is Forza. <laughs> You're about to see cars come through. Uh, quickly, Top Gun Maverick. There it is. Is supposed to release November nineteenth, twenty twenty-one. Okay, got it. This is like eye porn. Yeah, car, cars are like usually the default, like, here's your first look at graph things that look real graphics. Mm -hmm. What's that yellow car from like 10 seconds ago, the car at the end of Bad Boys 2? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Completely possible. Oh, yeah. Let me drive a cyber truck! Let me drive a cyber truck! Oh, I feel like they should put that in. They need to. So, will, do you think they'll do seasons still in Mexico? Or do seasons matter when you're that close to the equator? Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. They're, clearly, they can do similar things with, like, that dust storm. Yeah, like... like Kind of like Battlefield changing the environments with like yeah. weather and stuff. Wow, fire. Whoa. Is that snow? Yeah, that's snow. Oh, maybe the plot is going to be it. climate change. <laughs> okay, November 9th. Uh, a little further out than I thought it'd be, but I'm excited to get my hands Hello, on that. I'm Mike Brown, creative director at Playground Games, and I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. This Horizon is like the is first developer fun, talking head we've freedom, seen. And beauty. It is. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world Thank you, ever Hot in a Forza Horizon game. 
and there is no better car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project I One can think of one better. Edition. Rendered in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power oh my God. of the Xbox Series consoles. Ooh. I've invited along yes, some Mitch. Of the team to help give you a taste of Forza. some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don from the Forza team. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? I think and two of those people are in the same as well. Place. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing they in the like game. Separately Bienvenidos at separate times. A Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. Well, look, this gameplay. is a new campaign mode yeah. in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations and discover places for the festival this to expand. Is such, so much I'm more interesting than there you are. England. How's the expedition yeah. going? Yeah. I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. Oh, this I looks can gorgeous. See some oh, the, the fucking Mayan yeah, ruins. Think of that. Animal. Yeah. Look out for Whoa. the flamingos. Are you in the play with me, AJ? Hell yeah. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. But Forza Horizon you gonna jump has in? always been a game I'll, that's I'll best jump in if enjoyed. The two of you jump in. Let's go and see what I think some of our we got other Mitch players here. are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in-game. Maddie is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. So, like, having live players in your game is not unusual, but this seems like Let's a lot. Maddie so it sounds like they're going to put a lot more people in Don. your game. Yeah. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. This is a recreation of Mexico that is honest, authentic, I feel and like I was on this island. Love. Speaking uh, of, in 2019. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, what's mm. up? This is a mural by Mexican artist yeah, Farid I love that Rueda. Art. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Very, Forza yeah, Horizon 5. Very uh, evocative of uh, Gila Muera. In, um, While in Don drives down just to the off the coast of Cancun, we'll jump over to the mm -hmm. Gran Caldera mm -hmm. Volcano. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire See, world. See, this is the reason about Halo. They're willing to put detail. a date on this one for November and here's 9. Sierra in her mm. favorite off road boogie. The volcano November Sierra 9 and friends are exploring was is the, the highest release date of Halo Horizon 2. game. And thanks to the power of the Xbox series, I just worry that they're not putting a here, date on it yet. Miles but they're prepared direction. to put dates on the other games the distance, that are coming in the same time frame. Out that is a Let's take a definite concern. Look. Maybe they also don't want a Guanabato cyberpunk situation, is one of the most right? No, it's true. It's one world. of those things where release it when it's ready, and if they need more time, take more time. Full of vibrant yeah. architecture. It even has a sprawling network of tunnels. And these twisting, turning, overlapping streets mean that as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see oh here, my God, look at that map. is challenged in Horizon's open world. Uh, I'm looking down at my phone a lot, Elementor. but I don't want, want it to seem like I'm unappreciative of what we're race, watching. It's very pretty. The rest pretty, of our players are still out exploring it's this diverse like open You don't like cars. World. I get it. Let's head yeah, north. No, to I, the I like cars just fine. The Horizon like cars series is just known for its uplifting You like cars to get you from point A to B. And using our unique HDR camera rig, we captured 24 hour shoots of real Mexican skies. Man, if I showed this to my dad, and thanks to the Xbox like, Series consoles, these photo realistic when this, this will be its own life trailer. Lighting that dynamically afterwards, yeah. every just send them the link and making you feel like you're put, really and tell there. them to put this on the biggest screen you can. Here's Maddie mm -hmm. again. She's up joined the by Abraham with my kids. and some Ooh, other members of the team. While they talk. Nice. Our players are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online, and then helps you link up. I want to race the train. You do that in like four. We'll now yeah. head deep into yeah, the you, rainforest you race, and rejoin uh, Bill plane, and the rest of our players. Oh, I do remember that. Here we see our uh, new Warthog. volumetric lighting system filling the There's scene a special with godrays as the sunlight dapples yeah, through the I dense like rainforest. 
A Horizon Arcade minigame is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill loves minigames, so it intelligently prompts Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts, and they're seamlessly linked together with their GPS route set. With that Horizon Arcade minigame starting soon, all of our players are coming together. This minigame is called oh, Pinata Pop. I got Signaled real the nervous Horizon for a second there. I'm like, oh, shit, it's going to be Fortnite. Pinatas. Is he going to wipe Ooh, out when he hits that thing on guys. the road? But it's, oh, it's just a Pinata. Our players now have to work problem. together. It's like very, it's going to be like Fortnite because of that Pinata. Okay, oh, well, that's what I first thought. I was like, is there a Fortnite tie-in? Also, are Pinatas a little on the nose for Mexico? There's some between the houses. I suspect. There's a couple more over here. Sweet. While they the team consulted those last few pinatas. We're mm -hmm. going over to the stadium because I have mm. one more thing to Unlike show you. Unlike the Kim's convenience writer. Oh my God! This <laughs> is Event Lab, the incredible new tool this set is that your allows jam, you Nathan. to create your own races, game modes, and gameplay experiences. You customize uh, I feel everything like, right down to the I fundamental rules I mean, I don't know exactly what the, the discussion game. was like, but I suspect that. Having pinatas in the game was probably an easier decision by virtue of Look the fact. Look at that track in the background. Forza Horizon the, the one that was like on its most fun side on an angle. Yeah, open world yeah like built. in the sky doing loop to loop like a roller coaster. And it will truly be an astounding showcase mm. for the Xbox Series console. Just want to say, I feel like the decision to play this um, November 9th. Thank oh, you November so much. 9th. I'll wow. see you all in Mexico. The, the later decision this to year. play uh, pinatas in the game was probably made easier by virtue of how ubiquitous they are in Fortnite. You know what I mean? That's fair. There it is. Team Xbox is on a mission All right. to bring we the joy like community of gaming to everyone left. on the planet. That's why that was you, a good, uh, the gamer, are at the good center forza. of everything. Now I have no idea what they're in. Today, no, no we idea showed what you 30 with. games. 27 of them That's will all? be available on Xbox Game Pass. That's like more. Now, through yeah. the end of the year, you can look forward to back-to-back -to -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios, as well as highly anticipated games like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to Xbox. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers <laughs> yeah. working He's on been really Avowed, dancing around that. Fable, yep. The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, That's all we saw, Fable. and Elder Scrolls 6. I'm we not surprised. We unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most I've seen the Xbox chat people Halo want um, Forza Horizon or uh, Persona 5 Royal. Shooters, I still don't think that's happening. Wolfenstein, <laughs> Oh, man. What if war, they ended the conference dark, with that announcement? Do. I don't we think you end the conference the with that announcement because it's an old world game. racing game. I, I know, Forza but it would be I, that would be really bringing funny. Bringing you a vibrant and it authentic would. depiction of Mexico in a game. They, they also mentioned the Gears just a second ago, so I suspect we're probably not going to end on that as hard well. at work on the next yeah. Forza Motorsport. No, it's got to be a surprise. Our growing family of 23 studios. Um, AJ, I was going to ask, do you customize your Spartans in the Halo love. multiplayer? Because there were some yeah. really cool looking Xbox Spartans in that. Has been here yeah, for absolutely. Years. You should boot up and that's uh, Master Chief Collection you. sometime. You can do a bunch Our of team that sort of thing. to make okay. Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one what is more it? thing. Here we go. Yeah. Take a look at this brand new original game from the Arcane team at Bethesda. The Whoa. studio that, that created indie? Prey and Dishonored. That this is the studio Arcane that's working on created indie. something new No, for them, Machine Games is. An open machine world games. immersive shooter that you can play It actually alone, would make sense that they're showing off a game from Arcane because it's like been a while Starfield, since we've seen anything from them. This game will be an Xbox exclusive. Not surprised they didn't show Deathloop, but a little surprised that it wasn't announced for PC Game Pass. All right. D Dishonored was whale punk, so I think this game's going to be pufferfish punk. I think they figured out how to take pufferfish and extract all their energy. Or maybe not. There are a lot of robots here. I feel like it takes oh, a lot of juice to get robots up and running. No uh, KI, which is a little disappointing. too. 25 centimeters dramatically elongated 
When is this coming? 2022? Late? 2023? So, uh, that was fun, right? Earlier. That's your cue, mate. Sleep tight. Looks like a co op game. Co op with some of the dishonored powers and stuff in it? That'd be cool. Think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, what if it's asshole. five player co op and the fifth player is like the little robot dude? Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh oh. What is going on over. Oh, vampires! Vampires? What? I didn't expect that. I was gonna say, I feel like you typically don't see robot, robot drone dudes in vampire games. They got into this shit. What is the problem out there? In the field in Redfall, Massachusetts. Behind me, we are witnessing clear signs of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! <laughs> oh, so they like go to a town. I really shit. hope the video was worth it. Everybody, like they're being hunted by a cult in the town. Happened. This is gonna be like a Back for Blood with uh, Left for Dead with superpowers. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Where's the other one? Where'd it go? Uh oh. How do you come armed with all these weapons to a town and potentially not expect this? Man, don't people know that you need to copy what Batman did in Batman v Superman? You have the projectile that explodes when the person you're shooting it at catches it. That's the only way you can stop these people. Also, you have to tell people that your mother's name is Martha. That's yeah. true. Oh, shit. Dev's gonna love this one. You better have a plan, Jacob. Yep. Don't miss. Don't yeah. touch me. That's a cool umbrella. Look, a new one. Leave off. I have feels like sunset over. Not, not like nah. movement wise, but just like zany. A little too serious for. Me. You can't break the blood trends. It's on the just behind. I think there's vampire in this. Really? What does it taste uh -oh. like? Be specific. Oh, like blood and dork. death and strawberry. Sun's coming up. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Sure thing, Edgar Allan Bro. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. What in the world? <laughs> so do you think Red get Redfall? Do you things get worse in the daytime in this weird universe? Fight back. Okay. All right. I'm into it. It's gonna be the wrap-up trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we've seen. Yeah. Whew. That uh, that was uh, an hour and twenty-three minutes. So a little bit shorter than. I said it was going to be earlier, but that was that wasn't me who came up with an hour and a half out of the blue. That was it's a good good conference. Hour. Some other website. Yeah, it was right. very good. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. Bring me that this is the ride. best Xbox conference they've had in years. Um, stuff that like their studios are going to finally start dropping things. Um, really, next year seems to be like the big year for them to drop their new titles. So. Whew. 
There's, there will be a trickle at the end of this year. Although they are sub supplementing with Game Pass is exclusives for now. I was really hoping they were going to say that uh, Diablo is part of Game Pass. It's a really good lineup, honestly, now that I'm seeing all these games. I'm kind of confused, actually, why when you have 27 out of 30 games that you've shown, like, you have the three that don't come to Game Pass. And you, like, it seems to be a stronger showing if you can just say all these games are coming to Game Pass. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? And, you know, True. Depending on the Depending on the deal, like... You know, some of them are launch exclusive, so they'll be going elsewhere afterwards, right? Yeah, completely um, true. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to come to Game Pass automatically, right? All right. Uh, I'm going to switch over to our talking head scene. Uh, and sweet. yeah, let's just do a quick little debrief there. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying, you know, um, I recently only got into the Xbox ecosystem with my Xbox Series X. I don't have a lot of nostalgia for a lot of the, you know, Xbox library of games, but this was a good conference. And, you know, as I've talked about in the past, I want to do uh, more and more press wisely game nights in the future where I, you know, check out the latest and greatest. Oh, hang on. Game. They're showing they're showing the fridge. Oh, what? They're oh, yeah. Fridge. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me Mini fridge. switch back real quick. The meme. Yes, this is really happening. I guess I'm buying a mini fridge. How much is it? Xbox and chill. <laughs> Holiday. 2021. Oh, they didn't. They didn't say. But Holiday 2021. Holiday. Actually, they did. It's two thousand twenty-one dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, they they hit it in the end like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's what that meant. Got it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, uh, like I said, I am always looking for cool new multiplayer experiences to play on twitch.tv slash press during our game nights. And this conference was chock full of interesting experiences that definitely fit the bill in that regard. So I'd say I'm pretty happy. Yeah, um, I think Cozy, you and I are in very similar positions with the Xbox as I just purchased my first one as well a few weeks ago and, and completely new to the ecosystem as well. Um, I am so hyped for Forza Horizon 5. I think that looks fantastic. It's going to be that showpiece. Um, and it looks like they're letting you do crazy things with it too. So I'm super excited about that. And like they're doing with Sea of Thieves, I hope to see that they'll include expansions and stuff in that as well. Uh, there is no commitment to that, but we'll see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, no, there's tons of cool stuff. 12 minutes I'm looking forward to getting my hands on Party Animals next year. Um, the Psychonauts 2 um not everything's for me but enough of that stuff i'm super keen to try yeah um i i came into this wanting halo and i saw i saw enough halo to keep me satiated and i think uh once we're done here i'm just gonna go watch that trailer over and over again 600 times and well you you gotta come back for square do i have to we'd appreciate yeah, it. yeah. we, we kind of would appreciate it <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll see what I can do. No promises. All right. All right. Uh, um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a really good look. Like, uh, there's stuff I still want to see. I think stuff, a few things went by too quickly. I was never able to. I've been refreshing Bethesda's Twitter a few times to see that here's the 10 Bethesda games coming to Game Pass, and it hasn't been posted. I'm checking one more time to see if mm. it's posted here. No, I'm not seeing anything. So I'm sure it's somewhere. So anyways, all right, cool. All right, well, yep. um, we're currently about 45 minutes away from the Square Enix press conference. I said earlier on during the stream that I can just switch over to our Be Right Back scene, uh, or alternatively, I could just end the stream and I'll put out uh, a new announcement later on when we go live again. It, what, what do you guys think here's is what best? Um, I think if you were to keep it live um, and and nothing happening, um, I 
I just don't think that's very interesting. Like it's doable. It just, mm. I think, I think if you were to go live just before, like we did here, um, and give, uh, Get, give everybody who follows us the the notification again that we're live again. Sure. Yeah, I, th- I think that actually makes sense. That's a reminder. Yeah, to, it's hey, enough. It's in. enough of a break. It's not like it's ten minutes. It's yeah. yeah. If it were ten minutes, yeah, we could take a quick five minute break or whatever. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you guys are right on the money. All right. Well, in that case, uh, we will see you all in just a bit. Uh, until next time, I'm Alexander Kazina signing off. Uh, and Nathan and AJ Fraser are going to be signing off too. Yep. yep. We'll we are see married, in, uh, Nathan and I. We'll see you, you soon. Took my last name.